Well, let me ask you this. Did she go to school that day? She did not. How come? She had come in to me and she was up really late. Um, the week was, uh, we had gone from summer break to all of a sudden just having, you know, just kind of a crazy schedule. And she was just really tired and she wasn't feeling right. And I figured it was the first week of school, so one day wouldn't have been, you know, a huge issue for her to miss. Tell us about the last time you saw her. She was working on a poem that she was supposed to write for an English class. Um, she was just laying on the floor, the TV was on, and, um, you know, and I let her know where I was, was going with her, and I see her when I walk her back. And when was the next time you talked to her? Um, I was standing in line um, for probably, I don't know, 30 or 45 minutes, and I got a text from her, and I don't, I don't remember the exact time. Um, but it was after five o'clock. And um, she said that she needed to go get a textbook. She didn't know when she was gonna be back, um, but she was just letting me you know, know what she was doing. Did, you, did she tell you where she was going? She didn't, and so I picked up the phone because that didn't work for me. Um, I needed specifics, I really needed to talk to her because um, I'm gonna go and I don't know when I'm gonna be back. Just, wasn't um, <coughs> how I ran the house. And so I picked up the phone and just called her rather than texting her. At 6.38, she had texted me that she was walking down Grand Teton. Um, her phone was dying and she would be home in about a half hour. But 30 minutes you know, later, at, you know, to the dot, I texted her and I said, are you home yet? Um, so that was just after seven then? Mm -hmm. um, so you were still gone when you sent that text? I did. Did you receive anything back? Um, I did not. After um, Scott got home and um, you started to go through the whole process of the funeral and all that, did you all make the decision to move from this area? Um, yeah, almost almost right away. Um, we had only lived in that house for two and a half months, but um, I I needed to sort of reestablish her her space and um, her room was just to. It's too much. Uh, my bedroom windows overlooked the lot that she was in, and I just didn't want to see it every day. It's really difficult to find words that emphasize the impact that this has had on all of our lives. We're just going to miss her. And her, her laugh, her just her craziness. Her running into my room at midnight asking if we could FaceTime her sister in the dark down the hall. I mean, she just, she was just such a light and she was just so much energy in our house and it's, it's just not there anymore.